Hey golfers, Drew Mahol the second swing golf here and I finally made my way down from Minneapolis to Scottsdale to check out the new Talking Stick location. I'm joined by store general manager Dan Gittemeyer today and we're gonna go through the store, show you everything about it. But Dan, for, before we get going here, I just, you know, what is unique about this store? Cause I'm taking a look around and it's it's massive for one. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're really fortunate here. Uh, there's a lot of really, really cool features in this store. Um, I mean, for instance, come right out of the gate, you'll see the the selection in the store. Mm -hmm. um, it's its uh, a golfer's paradise. We've got that quite a few times already. So uh, really cool to see the selections, the trades that we get here is really, really cool. We'll, we mm -hmm. have some pieces throughout the store to kind of see those. Right. Um, undulated putting green, our tour van where we do our custom fittings. 10 out of 10, we've uh, really knocked that out of the park. Um, and we even got, you know, one of the best uh, putter builders in the country, in my opinion, mm -hmm. um, yeah. you know, in the back, uh, working, sure. uh, working in the store too. So we're really, really fortunate here. All right, well, let's go check it all out. Let's do it. So Dan, you mentioned selection was kind of the first thing that you brought up. Mm -hmm. um, and I look in here, I see already thousands. Um, yeah. You know, how many can this place actually hold roughly? So we can uh, house up to 20,000 clubs in the store, believe it or not. Okay. Yeah. That's that's a lot. And I imagine, I mean, I'm looking around, I can just see already the most popular brands, but I, may, I imagine, like mentioned the trades, you've come across some very unique brands or maybe some of those kind of boutique items too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's really cool the uh, the stuff we've got in. You know, we've been open for just uh, just under four months, so mm -hmm. uh, some really cool hickory stuff coming in. Some oh, yeah. highly collectible putters that have already come through the doors. It's uh, really fun to see what comes through, and you know, we got some uh, you know glass cases around here that we kind of put oh, stuff yeah. in, and obviously the the drivers and fairways which we're in right here. You know, top top selection all the way from Gen One to. Gosh, right. 20 year old stuff. And I'm sure you go back to the vault and then you can get even way older than that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's the fun part back mm -hmm. there. So then we made our way to the trade-in center here. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite things about Second Swing is golfers have the ability to trade in clubs, yeah. um, get some value back. And so it, it's funny because we mentioned how there's kind of some rare items that come in and we're right here, we're next to kind of the quote unquote Hall of Fame or some really rare stuff that has been traded in and we've kind of want to highlight it here in this nice case. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So first and foremost, yeah, we uh, we offer the you know, highest trade value in the industry. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's always good to see great mm -hmm. stuff come in. Um, and yeah, in this case here, you can see this uh, Bobby Jones Hickory set, uh, extremely, extremely rare. Mm -hmm. Very cool, you know, on sale at secondswing.com right now. Um, you got some old ping eye twos that have never been hit before. Right. Those came in a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, it's just a case that we kind of put uh, some really cool stuff that you just don't see every day. Um, and mm -hmm. you know, our, our golfers that come in, they can really look at the case. Hey, this is pretty cool. I haven't seen this in right. 30, 40 years <laughs> and uh, check it out. But uh, but even, you know, we get, we get trades, you know, like 15, 20 year old drivers, right. you know, stuff you'll see outside that people can come and they can buy a five dollar, ten dollar driver if they need to right. go out and play and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yes, we get a, we get a lot of trades in uh, week in and week out, and you know, helps provide this awesome selection we have here. Yeah, and I imagine it's a pretty simple process, right? Mm -hmm. People to bring their they just bring their clubs in essentially. Yeah, they bring their clubs in. Uh, they bring them uh, right under this trade in center right here, and our guys and gals at the uh, front counter here will give them a, a quote. They can say, uh, you know, if they want to do it with us, get a nice store credit. Yeah. Apply that store credit to anything they see in the store here. So it's a lot of fun for them. All right, Dan, this putting green is something else. Um, it's first of all, just tell me how this thing got installed. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the process like of you know this thing being put together? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was actually really fun to see this come together. Uh, there was a, a team, uh, one of the one of a, a very good team, one of the best in you know America, yeah. came in, uh, bulldozers, tons and tons oh, really? of dirt. Yeah, yeah. I think they put in eight to ten inches, packed it down. Um, I know it might be a little hard to see on camera, but there's some break and undulation in sure. here that you just don't really see anywhere else. Yeah. And uh, that was the big thing with this. We know it was going to be in the center of the store. We really wanted to stand out, right. and uh, it's been a big, big hit here, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, here at Second Swing. But 
brake undulation. I'd say it's rolling about a ten. A so, ten. Yeah, it's 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 rolling pretty well. So, so is uh, there is there a putt that like because I I see some slope. I can see it. And I see <laughs> yeah. ten holes. Yep. Um, is there anything that's really difficult, or is it an easy green? What do we got? It here? is not easy. Yeah, no, we're still trying to figure out the break here. But uh, <laughs> I will say the toughest putt, and I do want to challenge you to see if you okay. can make this. Okay. Uh, we're right here uh, at the corner, going all the way down. Um, it's about maybe a four back to left, five back foot right, break. back, back right. right. Yeah. Okay. Some uh, some big break. Let's see if uh, let's see if you can put it in. So. I think I, do I have to go over the fringe a little bit? You do, yes. Oh no. It cuts really hard. You got to die it right over the fringe, about six feet to the right of the pin and cut it oh, in. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not sure this is my game, Dan. A little oh, too much. not bad. A little firm. Ooh. Good line. Uh oh, yes. that's going off the green though. <laughs> I grabbed the uh, wedge. <laughs> I need the wedge now. <laughs> Ping Fitting and Performance Center. Uh, this is where the Ping loyalists and Ping fans like myself will probably spend the most time. So I imagine with Ping being down here in Arizona, uh, you got a lot of golfers that come in here and big Ping fans. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So, you know, um, Scottsdale, Arizona, you know, right here, you know, like you said, Ping's here. So uh, I have a great relationship with them. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I got about a 4,000 square foot Ping room with, you know, every single club that they have uh, out available now, every single bag on that bag wall mm -hmm. back there. Some really cool collectibles that you'll see kind of throughout the uh, uh, up this uh, shop too. And a really cool uh, corner over here, it's called the the uh, Gold Putter Vaults. Yeah. Now, all those uh, Ping uh, loyalists will know that, you know, Ping, they, uh, for every uh, PGA and LPGA uh, win, mm -hmm. they, um, supply that winner with a gold putter and yep. then they put one in their vault. Yeah. Now, obviously, this isn't the ping vault, but <laughs> it is a close, close, uh, what would you call it? A, they got like replica. A replica. Of because you, you, you walk in and you kind of actually feel like you're, yeah, you're surrounded by gold putters. Exactly. It's, so. it's so cool. And you know, you'll see people coming over and checking it out, actually thinking it's going way back there. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty funny. It has that illusion to it. <laughs> it does. You'll see people back there, you know, taking selfies of each other, acting like they're in the vault. Uh, <laughs> even got some uh, uh, really yeah. cool gold putters. A couple um, of them here. Yeah, some uh, two from uh, Tom Pertzer, who is okay. uh, allowing us to borrow his uh, That's cool. for now. So some really cool stuff. Um, and as we kind of make our way over to the bag wall, so uh, here, you know, we're, again, we're really fortunate. We have uh, essentially every single bag that Ping has to offer. Mm -hmm. You know, our customers can come in, touch, feel, grab, check out the bag, see what it looks like in person, and, uh, you know, pick one up uh, same day. So, yeah. And then, I mean, the other thing, too, you got fitting bays back yes. here, too, uh, which is really cool. And, then, you know, obviously the tour van fitting environment is second to none and we right. built that in ping specifically back in too yeah i mean that's really big too so back uh before we opened up you know um our fitters went over to the ping facility and uh we did a lot of training with them did a lot of uh you know basically on their proving grounds as their mm -hmm. driving range where we learned a lot there um got certified by them so if anyone's coming in for that ping ultimate experience they can come schedule a fitting here at Second Swing, and uh, you know we'll provide that excellent service uh, that Ping always does. So, so Dan, this is the tour van. Um, it's magnificent for one. Uh, so you've got all kinds of fitting bays in here. Um, just tell me about the environment and really how it's being received by the golfers out there. Yeah, it's it's definitely one of the biggest features of the store. You know, you get this private. Uh, setting when people come in to, uh, for their custom fitting. Uh, first and foremost, you know, if mm -hmm. you got friends or anyone that wants to watch, they got a nice little lounge area to hang out at. Um, but yeah, eight, eight track man bays uh, throughout here. Mm -hmm. um, the bays in our tour van here are about four feet wider, uh, I believe five feet deeper than what we have in the demo range across. Okay. So you get that little extra breathing room. Um, it just, you know, makes it a really, really nice touch for the fitters. Um, gets that kind of exclusive kind of experience for the customer here. Yeah, talk about the technology in there too. Uh, we should mention, you know, I know over there you've got some Foresight, yeah. GC quads, and then here it looks like you got Trackman. Trackman, yeah. So, uh, you know, again, we're really, really fortunate here. Um, you know, in my opinion, you know, you got Trackman, you got GC quad, mm -hmm. um, two of the best in the industry. Yeah. So, um, a customer, if they, um, you know, 
want to do TrackMan, obviously we got it set up here. Yeah. But hey, sometimes people are really particular about you know the machines that we use. Well, if we need to, we can always uh, grab one of those GC quads, bring it over to the bay here, and do a, a, a full foresight fit yeah. as well too. So uh, yeah, top technology here. Um, anything a, a customer needs when it comes to you know spin rate numbers, launch angle, you know all that good stuff, club data. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all right here. Yeah, then I think the best part is that they're free with purchase, um, yes. which I think is, is a little unique compared to maybe other retailers out there that we yeah. offer that for free with purchase. Yeah, I know. I mean, the, the home run here is when, you know, a customer comes in with, you know, clubs five, 10 years old, whatever it may be. And uh, we always like to have them, you know, warm up and get ready with their, let's say a seven iron for an iron yeah. fitting, right? Um, you know, they get to learn a little bit of something about what they're currently doing. Maybe the maybe their seven iron's not spinning like the, like it used to, yeah. or it's not going as high as they really thought. Um, there's something we talk a lot about is you know stopping power. that's so important. In, let's say an iron fitting. Yeah. Um, and then they you know try three, four, five different options that might work better for them. And then you know at the very end of the fitting, they get a, a nice uh, review of their their data there. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of times customers walk up to the front. Uh, front counter, trade in their old stuff, right. right? And then they get that store credit to make that uh, that new purchase even a, a little less uh, a little less on the wallet. Right, yeah, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. And it's very convenient and, and efficient for the golfers trying to upgrade their game. Absolutely, yeah. All right, the build shop here, Dan, uh, really cool sign, by the way. Yeah. Um, and so this is one of those things, you know, we offer the custom fittings, but also customization on golf clubs that maybe they're already fit for. and want to spice up the look or, yeah. you know, there's a certain maybe adjustment on the loft or the live needs to be done. So that's what the build shop is for. So mm -hmm. talk to me about that, how it's installed and, and you know, what kind of, you know, activity it gets. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, right, right when you walk in the door, like you said, everyone sees that really, really cool neon sign. Yeah. So it draws them right in. Uh, you got Cameron in there working right now on some grips, but uh, he's, uh, he can really do anything A to Z for a golf club, mm -hmm. whether it's a, a full build, simple grips, yeah. loft lie, really anything. And, uh, yeah, since we've been open, you know, it's been a really, really big hit. You know, people love coming to us, um, working with Cameron and, and some other associates. And, uh, you know, our grip selection is, you know, at a really, really good spot right now. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, it's a, it's been really popular. People love coming and, you know, we, uh, we try to offer, you know, a really, really good turnaround time right now. Right. Um, so that's something that's really important to us and it's been working well. Yeah, awesome. All right, really cool thing that Second Swing has done this year, launched handmade sticks. Uh, and it's really cool kind of giving it a larger platform to some of these kind of boutique, unique club makers. Uh, and you see some of those clubs around uh, in the store in those glass cases we mentioned. Uh, mm -hmm. But I also see a gentleman working back yeah. there on something right now. Yes, yes, so that is a Lamont Man. So again, we are very, very fortunate to have this gentleman in, a, in, our, uh, in our shop. Uh, so yeah, right behind us, we have Lamont's garage. So. You can see him right now, he's working on his mill right now, uh, milling a putter. Um, this man has been working on putters for, you know, 20, 20 plus years. And he can really do um, hand, make a, hand make a head, mill a face, weld a neck on, you know, shaft it, grip it, do the, you know, everything A to Z. So um, if the customer wants to come in right out of the, you know, parking lot here, work with Lamont and get a handmade uh, handmade stick made. So it's a, it's a very, very cool, very, very unique experience that is only really offered uh, here at Second Swing. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I mean, I imagine a lot of golfers come in and they're kind of, oh, what, you know, kind of yeah. curious, what's going on in there, you yep. know, and it's only one of the best club builders ever building a putter right. uh, from scratch, essentially. So yep. uh, it's, yeah, it's cool. And then, you know, all these putters, you know, they're available to purchase on secondswing.com mm -hmm. as well. You can get one and get set up through the Handmade Sticks website and get one custom for your stroke. Right. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I was uh, I was talking about it earlier, but uh, there, there's days where you'll see Lamont, uh, you know, getting a, a a neck glowing hot, and then just hand twisting it. Uh, a customer or even employees ourselves, we're walking by, we're just you know in awe watching him do this stuff. I mean, you really don't see this stuff really anywhere. And if you know you're a you know a putter geek like myself, <laughs> it is some of the coolest stuff. You know, him him grinding, milling, uh, and you know to top it off, he's one of the friendliest guys you will ever meet. You know. You can go in and you know have a quick ch conversation with them over yeah. anything. He's happy to talk with us, and uh, we are really, really lucky to have him here. 
Well, Dan, thanks for showing me around. Yeah. Now, this is a just fantastic facility. I mean, the, like you mentioned, golfer's paradise. I think was the term you used at the yes. beginning, and you're, that's absolutely right. The golfer, the golf geek out there, is going to love this place. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's so many really cool and unique features that we've kind of touched on here. Um, and like we said, we've only been open not even four months yet. So we're really eager to get all the, the golfers coming to Scottsdale, Arizona to come check us out to see all these really cool, really cool features. And you know, if you're looking for a fitting, uh, we got some of the best, uh, best fitters in the country here. So uh, please, you know, schedule that fitting mm -hmm. if you're looking for anything in the bag. And uh, yeah, we'd love to, love to see you. All right, well, now I'm gonna go make that putt that you said I couldn't make. Let's so. see it, let's see it. <laughs>